Okay, we're continuing on with the unfinished journal. I've all but finished actually. I just had to get on and do it so that I could um, then do different things. But I will give you a good flip through in a minute. But you know, it's not too much that I've done. You saw quite a bit of it. Um, I just fancy having an envelope in it and I haven't done any for this journal. So I'll just do one because it's getting quite full. Um, and I thought I would leave it so that it flips over the page like that. Yeah. That's it. So it'll flip over. Sorry. Use that as the flip and then the envelope will go in like that. Right, so what I'm going to do, what I do first, is get my piece of paper, and I had this bit over that I've been messing with. Um, mine is laser printer, so it printed, so it doesn't matter if I get it wet or anything like that. Okay, but what I do is I find where I sort of want, because I'm covering the inside of the envelope, where I want it, you know, like say there. I quite like the way that's poking through. A minute, I've got to make sure it's at the top now, though. Like that. Okay, I quite like that. Then I turn it over. Okay, because I've got a crease here, so I'm going to have a join, yeah? Right, so what I do is I actually find the crease like that. Okay, then I know I have to cut that off. Well, straighter, of course, but it'll be around there. Yeah, like that. So I'll cut that off now. Okay, then that is going to be stuck down there. I'm not going to worry about this at all. That's going to be there. Okay, right. Um, it's going to be a flip, isn't it? So again. I'm, before I do anything, I'm going to put a bit of tie vet on that bit there. All right, oh, I've got some little bits here because honestly, it continually opening it and shutting it, it wears a bit thin. All right, I do cut loads of strips out ready. Just one day, I've, I've got about five there. quite a big one this didn't need that much it's okay if you cover spine with the fabric or something well, not spine but if you cover the other side that's all right as well now I'm gonna have these down no I'm gonna cover those so I'll tell you what I will do though just to stop them lifting And I'm going to get that crease back in now. Yeah. Just there. Yep. And I'm going to just ink that so I can see. See it where it is. Okay. Lovely. Right. So that's going to go there. And that end of that paper is going to go there so what I'm going to do now is just glue all around there Okay, and then we can use that bit the other side. Okay, and that's good to flip over the page there. Let's get that nice and creased again. That's it. 
Right, I need to cut this off straight, okay, and then I can use that on there. I'm just thinking I need, right, I would like that there. Okay. It's the inside, so, oops. I just do that, like so. And that comes and just fold that over. Okay. And then I come in just a little bit. It usually gives me the right measurement if I can see. Make sure that's straight. Yeah. So let's cut there. Let's do it there. I'll cut that off after actually. That's all right. Let's in cut me it is. See the envelope first and here. It's quite dark this one. Okay. Let's get make sure it's the right way. Yep. I'm going to change the colour of that, so. Do come away from there a little bit, just to ease the, the joint, yeah. Just make sure that's nice and clear in there. Not going to worry about the edges on there because I'm going to colour it. So I'm working out um, something that would look nice with those colour tones. Yeah. So we've got to have a bit of tea and I'm going to get the mica colours out again. Um, not that one. So that one there. Um, there. So that's handy that we pre done them the other day. It's just a bit of mica and water, and I will be adding a bit of tea as well. Well, I think this is actually vintage photo watered down. Yeah. And I mix it <laughs> with water. <laughs> it might even be some, um, like, crystals as well. We need a bit of pink, don't we? Yeah. Right, let's dry that. I haven't finished. Okay, that's all dry. I was a little bit careful, you know, in that area there and it's it's okay all right but not too much heat in this area or else yes it melts so i should have mentioned that 
for that. Hopefully you watch this part of the video <laughs> and don't go heat, heat setting it straight away and then it ruined. Okay, right, I bend things away and then I like to emphasize that and here as well. No, I haven't used any gesso. Aren't they good? I think we could have a bit more pink though. Where's the... Yeah, I'm going to do it down here. There we go. Do you want a bit there as well? Oh, that's better. I need to shake it a bit more. Actually, I'm going to mix some mica with some um, acrylic as well. Oh, I'm on a bit over there now. <laughs> yes, Andrea, stop. <laughs> right, just stay away from that area just in case. Don't worry about it looking sort of wrinkly and all that. It seems to just sort of straighten out. You know, I've not had a problem with anything staying like it. Okay. Even when you want it to. <laughs> yeah, I need to get some wet wipes. Okay. Well, I think that's a good match in there, don't you? Let's see that. Okay. Now, you can either put some writing paper in here. I'm not worrying too much if, if I wasn't sewing I would go around and glue these edges down 100% perfect yeah but I'm not worried because I'm going to add some writing paper here so it's going to go on the journal on the thing page like that okay and then this is going to go the other side and then this is going to flip out okay so I quite fancy a little bit of writing paper writing there so I'm going to stitch cut some writing paper out and then stitch it along there when I stitch all around it okay then here this is going to be my little pull tab you know to do that sort of thing so I can either have a little what do I want there my have a little tuck spot or something I've come up with it I'll just do the writing first so I'm quite happy with that and that's my underneath can stamp it and you know do that but I'm actually I quite like it the way it's looking so that's a good match right writing paper first what have we got? okay I've just got a few of those and I thought that color green looked nice and just some this paper okay and I'm just going to put a bead of glue across the top um, if you aren't stitching it make sure it's stuck down better than I do it And I'll wait for that to dry and then I am going to stitch everywhere on mine. Well, along here. Okay, and then I can, once that's done, I can flip that up out of the way. Right, you just got to make sure you don't sew that down. Yes, I am guilty, I've done it. And I'm going to stitch around here as well. And here. All right. So, yes. That's what I'm going to do. And then we can decorate the front and the back. That, that face is in so you don't see that, you say. All right, normally you could have, you know, if it was an actual proper envelope, you'd have kept that like so. But it's not. So that's okay. I hope that doesn't get in the way. It shouldn't do. That's miles away. Actually, before I sew around, I think I've got to do the back first. Yeah, so I'll just cut a piece again out of um, off of that bit there, that, and I will cut that out at some point. Cause that's quite nice. I'm pleased I've been left with that, not had to cut into it. So that's going to go there. I've inked all the edges up, and then that flap there will cover it when I stitch it down. OK, 
okay and I'm going to mine will be stitched down okay and I'll just put a little bit of glue So now I can go in, oh hello it doesn't catch there. Yeah, I've just got to be vigilant or when I put that down I think. Right, let's go and stitch around that. Okay, it's all stitched around. Yeah, I didn't do it down there, but that's okay. I did do all the way around here though. And that's inside there. Okay. And then that's now formulated a little tuck spot, you know, only a fine one. But it works. Yep, okay. Now I usually, on here, I would either put washi tape, okay, something like that, which is quite nice actually, or um, lace. All right, and I think I'm gonna add a bit of lace, to be honest. So I've got a little bit of lace going on in the journal now, but not much, not overly. So might as well put a bit on here. And again, it's detachable, this one. It's not sewn in so to the journal or anything like that. So done with a pulley out thing there which I think I'm gonna do let's see which one we got I've got some here I'm hoping It'd be nice if one was cut out wouldn't it I doubt it um, oh, this one here that go And then that pulls out like that. Perfect. Okay, lovely. Right now, that's going to go in. That's okay. So we've got to sort out something here. I'm actually really liking that. So again, let's have a look. Because we've got to brighten up a page in the journal, yeah? is going to be here and that's going to sit like that yep. right so I now what I do and then that comes out you see and then you've got a little flip there but it's detachable yeah Okay, um, got to be careful what we add because of drying, because of this. So, um, napkin for a bit of colour. 
or we keep it yeah it's a little bit dull here isn't it so we need a little bit what we'll do I'm gonna add a bit of color over here perhaps I right, so haven't got any on this page so I'm gonna do that as well Put some there a bit of pink let's use a bit of pink like that and a bit of pink there so I'm gonna dry that a minute Right, I found this napkin and I think that'll be nice and delicate because we don't want too much. And I just saw something sort of coming around here, which will be quite nice. And then maybe a little bit of stamping. Um, let's have a look. So I'm just going to take it from back here, I think. Oh, I should have used a brush, but it's all right. Yeah. I think there's a bit of a gap there. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to use those, but I'll just take them off and place them myself in a minute. That bit of pink. Let's have a look. I think about there. Yep. Use a Tim Holtz one. This is a little area. There, I've got a bit of a line there, you see. So I'll scrape that away there. Oh, a bit too small, this brush. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give that a bit of a dry. I need to protect that. Um, let's have a look. Oh, I've got a bit of sponge somewhere. Oops. So I shall put like that and then dry around it. One good thing about the Tim Holtz stuff, it dries very quickly. There we go. Not quite dry, but I don't want to risk it too much. I really like that. So I'm just going to ink it up now. It's nice. Not much ink on this, so I'm 
Okay, I don't think it needs any stamping or anything. I quite like the way it is. That's really nice. Let's have a look. I bet you're dying to see this journal, aren't you? <laughs> you have to be. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's going to go there. All right, it's going to be clipped in. Which will be like so. Yeah, and then oh, that flips out there could have been a nice pocket there actually looking at that but that's all right and then that's going to sit in there and I will continue and do a little bit of this over here yeah or even just here might be nice, actually. Let's, let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, can't show you too much. <laughs> I want some surprise. <laughs> no, I don't mind. I'm just now, um, I've got this to do, and I'm not really doing much decoupage in it, in this one. But I'm sort of looking at it, thinking, hmm, I quite like it. <laughs> Only because I love this napkin. Thank you, Tina. Give me a couple of napkins and there because I love all these little flowers because you can make your own little collages up <laughs> napkins and it's delicate and that's what I like and it's like here I've got two flowers there and I most probably use not that one so much and I use a little bit of greenery as well from that Put that somewhere. So I might do that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That looks right to me. There we go. That's lovely. So Right, where's my sponge? I'm just going to go through now and add little bits of that. So that is a acetate. There, there we go. Oh, sorry. Right, so I will continue to go through the journal and just add little bits of that because when I started this journal I wasn't going to do any decoupage but when um, Tina gave me this napkin I thought, you know what, I've got to use it because I just love it. I don't need that bit there. Okay. 
that's cool. Right, so I'll go ahead and do that then. Well, I went ahead and went right through the book, put in things like that in. Okay, so that's it really. Oh, I put one of my bright tags in there because I fancied it. So the next thing I'm going to do is the flip through. Okay, because I've added the charms and things and to be honest, it's finished. All right, so... Thank you very much for watching then and join me on the flip throw. Bye bye.